Imagine your body as a silent city that never sleeps, where millions of workers operate in perfect harmony. Most of the time, these workers burn sugar for quick energy, like a bustling downtown district powered by bright streetlights. But when you stop eating for an extended period in controlled conditions and under natural physiological responses, something remarkable happens in the shadows. The city begins to shift its entire energy infrastructure, and deep within your abdomen, a different kind of fuel source awakens. This is the story of how fasting can, in scientific studies, unlock your body's most guarded fat reserves, the visceral fat that wraps silently around your vital organs. Your body stores fat in two distinct neighborhoods. The subcutaneous fat lives just beneath your skin, visible and familiar. But visceral fat operates like a hidden vault, nestled deep within your abdominal cavity, surrounding your liver, pancreas, and intestines. This internal fat serves as your body's emergency energy reserve, protected by sophisticated biological locks that only open under very specific conditions, described here purely for educational purposes, not as recommendations. When you begin fasting, your internal chemistry starts a carefully orchestrated transformation. Within the first few hours, your blood sugar levels begin their gentle descent. Insulin, the hormone that normally escorts glucose into your cells, starts to retreat from the bloodstream. This retreat is crucial because insulin acts like a security guard, preventing your fat cells from releasing their stored energy. As insulin levels drop, the first biological lock begins to turn in ways that scientists observe in controlled metabolic research. During these initial hours, your liver works like a diligent bank manager, releasing stored glucose from its glycogen reserves. This process can sustain your energy needs for approximately 12 to 16 hours, depending on your individual metabolism and activity level. Your brain, which typically consumes about 20% of your daily energy, continues to run smoothly on this glucose supply. But beneath this apparent normalcy, your metabolic machinery is already preparing for a profound shift that varies widely from person to person. Here's the part most people never hear. Your body doesn't simply run out of sugar and immediately start burning fat. Instead, it undergoes a complex negotiation between different organ systems. Your muscles begin to reduce their glucose consumption, saving this precious fuel for your brain and red blood cells, which initially cannot use alternative energy sources. This metabolic courtesy creates space for the next phase of the transformation, as described in physiology textbooks, rather than as a suggested routine. As the 16-hour mark approaches, your glycogen stores begin to dwindle significantly. Your liver, sensing this depletion, starts producing small amounts of ketone bodies from fat breakdown. These ketones are like a molecular messengers, signaling to your brain that a new fuel source is becoming available. This transition period often coincides with the first wave of hunger, though experiences differ widely and are not guaranteed. But the real change begins at 24 hours. By this point, your insulin levels have dropped to their lowest daily range, sometimes reaching levels not seen since your last extended fast. This dramatic reduction in insulin is like removing the final lock from your fat storage vaults. Your adipose tissue, both subcutaneous and visceral, begins to release fatty acids into your bloodstream at an accelerated rate, according to research findings, not as an endorsed practice. What happens next surprises even researchers. Your liver transforms into a biochemical factory, converting these released fatty acids into ketone bodies through a process called beta-oxidation. These ketones cross the blood-brain barrier and begin feeding your neurons, creating a backup energy system that can sustain mental clarity even in the absence of glucose. Studies suggest that this ketone production can eventually supply up to 70% of your brain's energy needs under specific study conditions. Your visceral fat, however, responds differently than its subcutaneous counterpart. Research from recent metabolic studies reveals that visceral adipose tissue becomes increasingly active during extended fasting periods. These deep abdominal fat deposits begin releasing fatty acids at a higher rate than surface fat, partly because visceral fat cells have more receptors for hormones that trigger fat breakdown. Your body seems to prioritize this internal fat burning, though this is a scientific observation and not a health instruction. The cellular environment around your organs starts to shift in subtle but measurable ways. Inflammation markers begin to decrease in some controlled studies, 
as your immune system responds to the changing metabolic landscape. Your white blood cells, no longer processing constant incoming nutrients, redirect their energy towards cellular maintenance and repair. This quiet recalibration happens without any external signs, deep within the microscopic neighborhoods of your body, and may differ among individuals. Yet, what your cells do next is even more unexpected. Around the 48-hour mark, a process called autophagy intensifies throughout your body. This cellular housekeeping mechanism begins breaking down damaged proteins and organelles, recycling their components for essential functions. Your visceral fat tissue participates in this cleanup, not only releasing energy but also renewing itself at the molecular level, as observed in research models, not as a recommendation for extended fasting. This is where the story inside your body quietly shifts. The initial discomfort of hunger often subsides, replaced by a steady metabolic rhythm powered primarily by fat oxidation. Your energy levels may stabilize for some individuals, as your cells become increasingly efficient at processing ketones and fatty acids. The biological stress of early fasting gives way to a deeper adaptation, one that your ancestors relied upon during times of food scarcity. By the 72nd hour, your visceral fat deposits have undergone a remarkable transformation in scientific scenarios, not suggested for replication. The fatty acids streaming from these deep abdominal reserves now fuel a metabolic symphony that operates with clockwork precision. Your liver processes these molecules into ketones at an extraordinary rate, sometimes producing enough to supply nearly three quarters of your brain's energy requirements. This shift marks the moment when your body truly embraces its ancestral survival programming, as described in historical physiology research. But here's the part most people never hear. Your visceral fat cells don't simply shrink during this process. They actually begin communicating with surrounding tissues through chemical signals called adipokines. These molecular messengers help coordinate the release of stored energy while simultaneously reducing inflammation in nearby organs, according to some studies, not as a guaranteed outcome. Your pancreas, liver, and intestines start operating in a quieter, more efficient environment as inflammatory proteins decrease throughout your abdominal cavity in certain controlled observations. The cellular machinery within your fat tissue becomes increasingly sophisticated as the fast continues. Mitochondria, the tiny power plants inside each fat cell, multiply and become more efficient at processing stored triglycerides. This adaptation allows your visceral fat to release energy more steadily, creating a sustainable fuel supply that can maintain your body's essential functions for extended periods under specific research conditions. Your metabolism learns to operate like a well-tuned engine running on premium fuel. What happens next surprises even researchers. Around the fourth day, your growth hormone levels can spike to five times their normal concentration in certain fasting studies, serving as your body's protective mechanism, preserving lean muscle tissue while accelerating the breakdown of fat stores. Your visceral adipose tissue responds particularly well to these hormonal signals, as observed scientifically, not as advisable practice, releasing fatty acids at rates that would be impossible under normal eating conditions. The quiet revolution extends beyond simple energy production. Your immune system begins a process of cellular renewal that touches every organ in your abdominal cavity. White blood cells that have been circulating for months start breaking down and recycling their components, while fresh immune cells emerge from your bone marrow. This regeneration happens most actively around your visceral fat deposits, where immune cells work closely with fat tissue to maintain metabolic balance, according to some research findings. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. This ancient metabolic wisdom waits patiently within your cells, ready to activate whenever you create the conditions for transformation. As explained here purely for educational insight, not as a fasting guideline. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Vivalabs for more calm, science-based explanations. Vivalabs, where your body tells its quiet stories.